So we're talking about Radian's quick angles here. Now the goal here is to rebuild your instincts when it comes to angles. So if you're into skateboarding or BMX or something like that, and you see someone do a full spin, you might say something like, wicked 360, man. Now we want to change the way that you think so much so that the next time you see a BMXer do a full spin, you don't say wicked 360, you say gnarly 2 pi. So that's the goal we need to think in terms of radians. So first of all, let's always start from our x-axis pointed in this direction. All right, so here's our x-axis pointing in that direction. If the skateboarder doesn't turn at all, that's a zero. If the skateboarder does a full 360, they do a full two pi radians. If the skateboarder does a spin followed by another spin, they will do a full four pi radians. A spin, a spin, a spin, they will do a full six pi radians. And you see what's happening here, zero, two pi, four pi, six pi, eight pi, Really, really easy. Actually easier than what we do at the moment, which is wicked 360, wicked 720, wicked uh, 9, whatever, 1080. All right, so that's what we're working with. Let's work from there. So if it's 2 pi for a full spin, then it must be half of 2 pi for half a spin, half a spin, which is pi. Okay, um, moving on. If they do a quarter spin, they're probably going to fall off their skateboard, but if they do a quarter spin, that's half of a half spin, which is pi. So that's pi on 2. So 90 degrees is now pi on 2. If they turn 45 degrees, pi on 2 divided by 2, half of pi on 2, is pi on 4. All right, so these are all angles remember so this is the pi on two this is the pi on four um okay let's there's two more angles that i want to talk about 30 degrees 60 degrees we use them a lot in graphics there's another great reason that we use 30 and 60 that we'll talk about later so all right how am i going to come up with 60 degrees well that's 180 or pi radians now if i split that into three equal parts that's 60 degrees so pi divided by 3, here's 60 degrees here, that's pi on 3. So 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees. Okay, next we have 60 degrees here. Another useful one is going to be 30 degrees, which is here. Pi on 3, that's 60, so half of that is pi on 6. All right, these are some great building blocks so far for getting a really nice intuitive understanding of what radians are uh, in terms of a full circle. Now, in order for you to become really intuitive with radians, it's important that this one here, you think about it in four different ways all at the same time. Pi is equal to two pi on two, right? So if I just cancel out the twos, I'll just have pi. It's also equal to um, 3 pi on 3. It's also equal to 4 pi on 4. It's also equal to 6 pi on 6. Now, I know that that looks ridiculous, but it's true. It doesn't matter what number I put here. It's always going to be equal to pi. And it's important that you can think of pi as 2 pi on 2, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 4, and 6 pi on 6. And you'll see why. Now, the one that we're missing here at the moment is the 270. Now, that is equal to 180 degrees, which is pi radians, plus pi on 2. Now, pi plus pi on 2 is hard for me to do in my head, but 2 pi on 2 plus pi on 2 is easy for me to do in my head. 2 pi on 2 plus pi on 2 is 3 pi on 2. 3 pi on 2. Okay, so we're looking pretty good at the moment. What I want to do is fill in the whole rest of this circle. So, how do we do that? Well, I like to do it with the pi on 4s first. So, if I start here at my 0, pi on 4, 
2 pi on 4, 3 pi on 4. You can also do it a different way. You can start here at what is also 4 pi on 4 and subtract pi on 4 from it. 4 pi on 4 minus pi on 4, 3 pi on 4. All right, let's start from there now. This is 4 pi on 4. If I add one more pi on 4 to it, I get 5 pi on 4. Okay, 5 pi on 4, 6 pi on 4, 7 pi on 4. You can see I'm just counting around this circle. Okay, there's all my like 45 degree angles around this circle. Um, they correspond with 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 225 degrees, and 315 degrees. Now we can do that with our pi on 3s. So, um, that's pi on 3. If I go another 60 degrees, which means 60 plus 60 is 120, I get 2 pi on 3. If I go another 60 degrees, I get 280, which is 3 pi on 3. If I go an extra 60, I'll end up at 4 pi on 3. 4 pi on 3. 3 pi on 3 plus pi on 3 is 4 pi on 3. If I go another 60 degrees to here, uh, which is 300 degrees, I'll end up at 5 pi on 3. Okay, and finally, let's finish it off with the pi on 6s. And this is an interesting one. Pi on 6. 2 pi on 6. 3 pi on 6. 4 pi on 6, which is the same as 2 pi on 3. 5 pi on 6. Now, that was a long way to count, so I should have gone the other way. 6 pi on 6 minus pi on 6, 5 pi on 6. Now that corresponds with 150 degrees. All right, this was 6 pi on 6. We add an extra 30 degrees, so like 210. And we end up at 6 pi on 6 plus pi on 6, which is 7 pi on 6. Uh, and finally, I'm going to cheat here. I said this is 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, and 6 pi, but it's also um, 12 pi on 6. 12 pi on 6 is the same as 2 pi. 12 pi on 6 minus pi on 6. Oops, running out of steam. 11 pi on 6. Okay, those are what I call your quick angles, and you should get really, really comfortable with seeing them and with being able to think, if I say uh, 5 pi on 4, you should immediately think of a, of a spin about that big. If I say um, 2 pi, you should immediately think of a 360 degree spin. If I say 4 pi, you should think of a 720 degree spin. Those are your quick angles.